We are in Hernando, Florida. We are at an AM station that has two facilities. One is the trailer behind me, which is DJ, it is electronics, etc. And then some thousand feet over is a transmitter building. This facility originally had a ground that measured over 300 ohms. What we did is we drove a deep earth ground located in very close proximity to the drip line of the air conditioner so that the water from the air conditioner drip line keeps the soil moist. That lowers the resistance to earth. It enhances the grounding. And it's sustainable because most of the time when there's lightning, the air conditioning's running in Florida. The ground rod that's located directly below the drip line measures less than five ohms. We bonded it to the XO bond point of the main electrical system. We bonded it to the trailer and we bonded it to the telecommunications ground. This is an AM site. Everything that comes out of this building goes to all three towers. When we started here, there was a single ground rod that had a clamp to it. The resistance was well over 300 ohms. We redid it by driving a rod here at this building and we went out approximately 120 feet. We drove a second rod 80 feet. Between this rod and that rod, we have less than five ohms. We did not do anything with the tower grounding because it is an AM facility and it has its own radial system. Anything we would do would interfere with the signal. The panel ground is now connected with a split bolt to the strip of copper that's basically a static shield. That is going to be removed. It'll be on this ground bar plate and a separate conductor back up to this ground bar. This and this are gas tube arresters from the primary phone lines that are coming into this facility. The idea of a gas tube arrestor is a shunt path to divert lightning energy or anything that gets on the phone line that might cause injury or death. The error that was made here is they're looping to a common bar. Both sets of lightning arresters as well as this device. All of this common bar. Some of it is going up. Lightning doesn't like to travel up. It likes to go down towards the earth. So these should be all be run, home run to this ground bond bar, which is what will be done when it's rebonded. That is key to making this work properly and not get cross contamination between the devices and lines. What you see here are all the coaxes that, that are fed out to the various antennas. What you don't see is any attempt at bonding the shields of these to any kind of a ground. This is going to be done, but that has to be done by the radio engineers, the RF engineers. So we're going to be providing a ground bonding plate for them to accomplish that. At that point, they can complete the bonding. I believe that any facility, especially broadcast or any telecommunication facility or any facility, to be honest with you, uh, that any investment you make in proper grounding and bonding is well worth the money spent.